hello hello it's your girl black queen again <clears throat> today's topic is would you want to know so would you want to know what would you do or how would you handle a situation where ladies this is somewhat directed to you men this is a response that is needed from you and at the end this is what i feel i possibly would do so ladies when do you feel that when you've been in a relationship with somebody and you found out you was pregnant and you you're the only one that knew there was a chance that the man you was with might not be the father of your child when is it that you should tell them the truth or the possibility or anything and fellas if a girl you was with told you she was pregnant and you never knew she cheated or nothing and you 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 thought the baby was yours 110 percent the baby comes would you want to know since you've already been in this child's life would you want to know if the child was really yours or would you not want to know because you'd be scared it would ruin the opportunity that you had to continue this family you've already built upon So, for me, you guys, if I was the male on the other end, it would depend for me how long the child has already been alive for. Like, how long has this secret been kept? Because if she waited, let's say, five to six years to tell me that this child possibly was not mine... I'd be I'd be pissed and it makes you wonder after knowing that knowledge could you look at that child the same and could you love that child the same because everybody can say of course the child didn't do anything wrong but when you're in that position and your emotions are in the midst of that and your soul is in the midst of that. How do you take it? And you guys might be wondering, where did I come up with this question from? Like, <clears throat> me and my mom watched this show called Queen Sugar. You feel me? And Ralph Angel is the brother to the two sisters. And they're running this cane, the sugar cane field farm. And um, he has a girlfriend, a fiance named Darla. And back in the day, she used to be on drugs and she prostitute and so on and so forth. They had a son together. His name's Blue. Blue is seven years old. She did so much stuff in her past she didn't realize until she finally got to sit down with her family and talk to them. To realize that there's a chance that Ralph Angel might not be Blue's son. Mind you, when she was in the streets, <clears throat> she was in the streets and then she came back. They got united or whatever. I believe they did. You know, they did do. They was in a relationship and stuff. Then she dipped off again. She came back when she was pregnant and she had the baby. When she left the baby with Ralph Angel. And she went back to do her other shit. Ralph Angel took care of Blue. Darla didn't come back until Blue, I think, was like four or five. Uh, you guys, I, I came in late on watching the episodes. My mom knows full bone everything. But this is just the gist of what I've seen so far. <clears throat> so Blue and Ralph Angel have been at the hips since he's been born. That is his dad. To Ralph Angel, this is his son. There's nothing nobody can tell him. This is his son. You feel me? The only one that knows the truth is Darla. She talks to her mom because her and Ralph Age was supposed to get married soon. And her mom is like, Baby, you got to put everything out. You know, you can't tie this man down for the rest of his life. 
Remember, you got his raccoons and stuff. He can't tie this man down for the rest of his life. Summing it up is basically what I took from it. Tie him down for the rest of his life and he don't know the truth. Especially continuing to have him raise a child that he don't know could possibly not be his. So, she thought about it, she thought about it, she thought about it. And she finally went to him and told him the truth. She works for his sister as well, who is the, the owner of... Well, Ralph Angel is technically the owner, but she bought it from him to take care of it for him financially because he wasn't there yet. So she works for his sister, and his whole family knows her like they've known each other for years. So not only did she lie to Ralph Angel, not even lie, we'll say kept this secret from Ralph Angel. She kept this secret from his family, his entire family. Because when she was gone, they was helping Ralph Angel take care of Blue. So, ladies, when is it the time to tell a man there's a strong chance he might not be the father to the child that you guys both are caring for? You know? Like, it, it, it's kind of, it's never an easy blow to give somebody that. But it's just like, it hurts more when you take a longer time to speak on it than to address it as soon as you figure it out. For me, I feel, as a woman, if I was in that place, as soon as I found out I was pregnant, that conversation would have been had. For the simple fact, one, it's not fair to you. Two, it's not fair to me. Three, it's not fair to the baby. All of us is going to be hurting in the end of the day from the situation I wait till my child's 18 to tell him and his father or her and her father you feel me you possibly are not the father or he's possibly not your father I know everybody's gonna look at me like what the fuck is wrong with you why did you wait hella long to tell us something you've known this whole time just like for men that just completely trust what the woman says verbatim and they get married and shit and he's taking care of this child and they're doing this or doing that and then something goes wrong and the child needs a transplant and the dad you feel me because this is his child is quick to take it whatever you need give it I'm here I'm giving it you know turn around and have to find out in that moment you can't help your child because a secret the mother knew the whole time or men you were a woman and you got a child from a previous relationship you feel me and how much I know it is she has a child from a previous relationship and the dude that she has a child with she has him on child support She's receiving these checks, receiving these checks, receiving these checks. And she doesn't tell none of y'all until the child is 18 about to be taken off of child support if they're not still going to school. That that's not his child. You get what I'm saying? How would you, as her partner, feel for the man that's been paying child support this whole time for a child that's not his and wasn't informed about it until it was too late to stop it? There's a lot of different angles of looking at this situation. The Ralph Angel part was one way. I know y'all know Life Jennings. He made a song a long time ago. And it was just basically, would you want to know? Because the woman is saying four years ago when they had a fight, she went and she had sex with somebody else. After that, it never happened again. It was that one time four years ago, and she got pregnant. But around the same time, she got back with you, and y'all started doing the do. And after that, everything was great. Y'all family was tight-knit, like nothing else went wrong after that between you two. Would you want to know? 
Would you only want to know if y'all was in the midst of an argument? Would you only want to know if y'all was in good times? Would you only want to know if y'all was in bad times? Would you even want to know at all? And really, would it phase you at all that that was the case? Were you prepped and set for anything that possibly could have happened? Like, there's a, like, that just, this is why I want you guys to comment, you know, let me know, respond back, anything. Tell me what you're thinking because there's so many ways of looking at all these things and I want some feedback. I want to tickle y'all brains and get to know what y'all really think about it. And I had a friend of mine ask me, why don't I ever announce what I'm smoking in my videos? So, last two ones I missed it, I didn't get the chance to do. This one, smoking cookies and cream. Usually I use a Hemparillo wrap, the naked flavor, that's my favorite one. But today I got just the regular jackpot sweet. And didn't stop and get any, and my sister had some, so I grabbed one. But... The one yesterday, shout out to my baby because he bought it for me, was the black. And I rolled a naked Hemparillo with that one. <clears throat> so, yeah. But, yeah, those things is, those, that, that topic is a big thing. And I've thought about it before, but my mother actually suggested this topic. So shout out to mommy. Um, but it's a, it's a, it's a mind scratcher. It really makes you think, like, could you ever handle being in a situation like that? Like, it's one thing if before you guys got in a relationship, it, the situation was already set in stone, what it was, you know, like this child is my child you know i don't really know who the baby's dad is to my child i believe it's this guy or whatever and i spoke i spoke to him he was going to do the dna blase blase or i spoke to him he decided he didn't want to do the dna he's still going to help take care of the child boom this is what it is blah, blah 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 you know so on and so forth like let it, if it was if it was known ahead of time then you had the option if you wanted to be in that person's as that person's partner you know and if you guys is in the relationship and this takes place, if she lets you know ahead of time, like, look, I fucked up, now I'm pregnant and I don't know if it's you or him. And I want you to know because I don't feel, it's, you know, I don't feel it's fair for you to not know the truth. And this is something I can't keep a secret, you feel me? Like, if she came at you like that, how would you, would you be able to accept it for what it is and keep pushing forward because you know there's a chance that it could be yours? and you get where she's coming from or you know you stop the relationship but you're still pressing forward in a friendship so that you can be around the child if it possibly is yours or you cut all ties and just say you know i don't trust you cuss her out call her a smut whatever you feel me and you go from there like i don't know but you guys let me know this is black queen signing out